Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Adore Lyric. Thank you so much for coming back by and kicking it with me. Um, so I'm starting on doing a pre-poo, so I'm just putting some olive oil all over my scalp um, for this wash day. I'm just getting my hair prepared for when I add in my clarifying shampoo. Um, so you'll see me work that all the way in and then just kind of wait for it to officially like kind of bake and get soaked in my hair. Um, so I'm gonna chill on the couch for about 25 to 30 minutes just kind of relaxing and then I'm gonna go get straight right in and just start washing my hair um, so I'm gonna use the kitchen sink because they have the nice hose that I can utilize and also um, go ahead and use the texture ID clarifying shampoo um, and I use this all the time for my wash days sorry you guys I'm sick if you can hear me sniffling it sounds weird so I'm gonna start on the left hand side just unraveling the sections that I already had kind of separated from when I did my pre poo um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get the left side fully saturated and then I'm gonna go and work in that texture ID uh, but before I do that I'm just gonna make sure that the other side is nice and secure so that none of the sides kind of meet together and cause any kind of confusion or any messiness throughout the process I have the temperature of the water at pretty warm to cool, um, more on the warm side though. I'm just trying to make sure that my hair is just fully saturated and as I'm going through I'm trying to also start by finger detangling. Obviously it'll have better slip whenever I put in any product but I just wanted to kind of get the water um, acquainted with my hair and I just kind of out of habit just kind of start finger detangling to start off um, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and since I already fully saturated I'm gonna go ahead and work that texture ID in um, and I'll leave a link to this in the uh, description box if you guys are interested in trying it I got it from Sally's So I rinsed out that texture ID and I'm going to go ahead and two strand twist and then start on the other side. I've noticed that working in sections is a lot more easier um, but for the shampoo process I don't work in sections as um, small as you'll see me do later with the deep conditioning treatment. Um, so I just kind of work in half by half sections for my shampooing process but then once it gets to the conditioner um, and things like that I break it down even more so I'm going to move to the other side now. And just kind of like as a side note, I've never really noticed how thick my hair really is until like looking at videos like this after the fact. Like my hair is like so thick and full and that's such a blessing and a curse, but I'm so blessed. And I'm just going to go ahead and just, you know, do the same thing on this side as the other side with the texture ID, working that in, making sure everything is clean. All of the stuff out of my cuticles is out and clean and ready to go. And y'all, just look at my hair, like how it moves. And this is shampoo, it's not a conditioner. Just look at it for a second. At this point, your girl is just pretty much over it. Like, wash day is a whole hassle. I'm just tired, and I've only done pre-poo and shampoo, and I still have so many steps to go. I'm exhausted at this point, but I'm going to go next into the bathroom and then work in the deep conditioner um, that I have from the beauty supply store. I don't have the name. It's by Kiss. I'll put it in the description. Um, so I'm just going to saturate my hair with all of the deep conditioner and detangle as I go I'm um, using my wide tooth comb as well as my Felicia Leatherwood um, brush I think it's called like brush with the best or something like that I don't know <laughs> um, I use it every video but I'm just gonna do that and then as I'm going through I'm detangling and then putting in two strand twists um, and then again with this I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for a good 30 minutes um, and I'm actually gonna go under heat that's to come next so keep watching so this deep conditioning mask is like so soft and it just makes your hair feel like it gets all the nutrients that it needs. It smells so nice and you know it's a thick coating and it detangles so well um, and I'm so happy that I found it. I actually found out about it from someone else. Obviously word of mouth is the goat 
Um, so yeah, so I'm just working it in because my hair needs it and for a very long time I was not deep, um, deep conditioning anything so now that I do it's just like obviously it takes more time for wash days but it's such an added bonus and like you'll feel the difference later. So I'm going to sit underneath my bonnet dryer for 30 minutes and just let that deep conditioner get all up in my hair follicles and getting all the moisture that I need and then I'm going to go back to the kitchen and rinse it all out um, and it's just as simple as that but you guys will be able to see close up how well this deep conditioning mask looks on my hair. It made my hair feel soft and just, uh, it just did everything that I wanted it to do and more. Um, so I'm just going to work that um, hose down my hair, make sure that everything's rinsed out and just kind of finger detangle. You guys will be able to see how smooth and how silky my hair looks here. Um, just look at it like, oh, uh, I know I love it. So I'm just going to rinse out everything on my hair and then you guys can keep watching. Um, I do not go into showing me putting in my final conditioner using the Aussie um, conditioner that I always use. I'm sorry, I forgot to record that, but um, just keep watching as you can see how my hair looks after the deep conditioning mask. Bye, you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Oh.